Let's visit Horsham District. Hello, I'm Luna and I'm Annalise and we're from Whistle Stop Arts and we're embarking on our Visit Tours. Visit is a series of short films highlighting different areas across Horsham District. Join us as we discover more about the local heritage, countryside and meet local business owners and residents who will share their passion for the places where they live and work. Getting out and about couldn't be easier. If you're travelling by car, Horsham District Council offers an annual parking disc that can be used in 12 HDC managed car parks in the market towns and rural parts of the district. And currently, it's only 15 pounds for the whole year. There are numerous bus routes and train stations across Horsham District. You'll find links on the visit page of our website, whistlestoparts.org. We love to walk and with the South Downs and the Downs Link running across Horsham District, you're spoilt for choice for getting out onto those footpaths and bridleways. Great to hear the birds, see local wildlife and experience the seasons. If like us, you like to learn more about the history of the places you visit, you'll love the heritage trails. Each one dedicated to a different area of the district, including sites of special interest, and stories from all eras of the area's past. There are walks for all levels and the trail leaflets can be downloaded for free from the Horsham Museum's website. Each episode is accompanied by a podcast featuring more about our walk in the area and also a craft activity that you can take part in at home, highlighting some of the wonderful things you can experience in the villages and towns. We hope that everyone will get out and explore more and we've created a fun passport for you to take with you on your visit across Horsham District. You can download everything for free from the Whistle Stop Arts website as well as picking up a paper copy of the passport from shops in the featured areas. Whether you want to hit the high streets, visit local attractions or immerse yourself in the glorious landscape, Horsham District will not disappoint. We're off to explore this stunning area. Why not join us for the journey? Welcome to Henfield. With its unique shops, pubs, cafes, historical and quirky houses, it's a great place to explore. We're off for a walk on the Downs Link, along the River Ada, and back through the notorious network of Henfield Twittons. Ah, that sounds great. But before, should we go get something nourishing? Sure. Let's grab a juice. Yeah. I love that you mentioned the word Twitter, Luna. What does it mean? It's a great Sussex word, isn't it? Meaning a narrow path between hedges or buildings. You'll hear them referred to as alleyways or ginnels in other areas of the country. But if you hear someone say Twitten, then they're probably referring to somewhere in Sussex. Oh, OK. Let's see how many we can find in Henfield. They're a great way of crossing through the village to get to the common, explore the historic architecture and visit the many shops and eating places. goodness let's pop in and see what Hannah can offer us today. I know she'll have some locally roasted coffee and all of our five a day. I run goodness in Henfield on the high street. We do lots of yummy plant-based foods and gluten-free foods, um, coffees and snacks um, lots of smoothies and smoothie bowls and dupe cold pressed juices. So every morning we get our apples delivered by Jeremy's up the road um, and we cold press those every morning to make the smoothies. So it's all fresh every day made with real fruit and veg. Our smoothie bowls come summer are really popular. I just made with frozen banana and berries or spinach if you have a green one and then we make them all differently we top them all beautifully We're, we've got some really lovely um, mulberry chips chocolate mulberry chips which is which are from the raw chocolate company 
down in um, small dough, um, coconut chips and different granolas and all the lovely fresh fruit and veg that we can just nip up to Jeremy's and see what they've got that just looks lovely that day. Henfield is a really lovely place to visit and to live. Um, very fortunate to be here. Um, the high street is full of interesting quirky little shops and we've got tons of lovely pubs which is wonderful um, and lovely coffee shops as well. Um, it's a beautiful place to walk, really beautiful. We've got some really lovely walks right by the river and over the common and the people here are just just lovely, so supportive. Um, it's just a really lovely community. I'm Paul Crow and I'm the chair of the community partnership here in Henfield and uh, my wife and I've lived here for about 20 years. Yes, yeah, so in terms of Henfield, to the north we have Prairie Gardens, which is a wonderful place to visit. To the south we have Woodsmill Nature Reserve, which is fantastic, that's Sussex wildlife. Uh, to the east, just over there, we have one of the country's, if not the oldest, it's certainly the second oldest cricket club in the country, which is 250 years old this year. And we also have a farm shop and a deer sanctuary, which is private, but you can take the public footpath that goes all the way through it. And then if we go to the west, just over there, we have the River Ada. And before you get to the Ada, you're going to cross the Downs Link. The Downs Link is 38 miles long and it is a walking cycling trail that goes to Guildford in the north and Shoreham in the south. So right in the centre of this network is Henfield. And what have we got for you? Well, what we've got is a fantastic museum. We've got multiple pubs. We have four pubs. Three of them are in the high street, but one of them is actually on the Downs Link so that all those weary travellers can be satisfied there. And we've got multiple trails, walking trails around the village that are meant for all capabilities. So whatever your ability and whatever your, your level of fitness, there will be a trail for you. The way to find out about all these things is the Hidden Henfield website. If you just Google Hidden Henfield, you'll come up with that. All of the trails are on Hidden Henfield and links to other interesting things around the village. Um, and we also have the paper leaflets, which you can find in all the local shops and outlets, uh, which actually can fold out and you can follow the trail using the leaflet. Thanks, Paul. You're a font of knowledge. Where to next, Annalise? We're going to meet a couple of local artists at the BN5 Gallery. There are other galleries and arts events in Henfield too, so lots of opportunities to engage with creativity. I'm Alison Crow. Um, I'm a silversmith, jeweller, and based in Henfield. Um, I've been making jewellery for about five or six years, and I work mainly in silver with gemstones. I'm particularly interested in uh, nature, uh, which I'm surrounded by here in Henfield, because it's such a lovely village. Um, I often go for walks around. We have lots of little lanes, or twittens as they're known, um, and I like to go out for a walk almost every day, and find some inspiration for my jewellery. Um, so anything in the natural world is of interest to me. Um, animals, plants, I just love it all. Here in Henfield we have um, an annual Gardens and Arts Festival. Uh, it always takes place in June and typically there's about uh, 30, 40 gardens that open and they have um, a range of um, artwork on display and obviously beautiful gardens and there's always plenty of tea and cake, which is always very popular, we find. Henfield is great. Um, obviously, it's all surrounded by beautiful countryside. We're close to the South Downs. We have a fantastic high street, so many lovely shops and things to see, um, great cafes. It's just a, a really nice community spirit. We have, um, a, you know, it's a good feeling in the village, and I love living here. I've been here 20 years and uh, hope to be here for many more. My name is Nina Smith. I run, currently run Gallery BM5. So we have many local artists to exhibit. The Art Club has two exhibitions a year, one with the Gardens and Arts and one in October. So the artists find that to have a regular display of their work in the gallery helps with the exhibitions for the Art Club and also encourages new artists 
who exhibit here to join the art club. So we have that bit of a crossover, really. I initially started exhibiting my work in the gallery because I'm a glass artist, so I do fused glass, I do jewellery, I do panels, sculptures, that sort of thing, um, some for the gardens. And um, so I exhibited here and then obviously took over and I still exhibit my work. So a lot of customers also pop in just for our handmade cards. They're very popular and also encourage customers to come in. We also have Henfield tea towels, which are produced locally and uh, in aid of the Henfield Haven. Henfield is a lovely place to live. It's, it's fairly rural and you think of it as a village rather than as a town. So there's a very good high street and there's also lovely walks, bike rides that are close by. And on that note, let's choose the best route for our walk. Oh, can we go by the shops? There's so much to see here. I know, but we're yet to meet Robert from Henfield Museum, so we'd better shop quickly. chimney is incredible. It looks like it's going to topple over at any moment. I know! This is St Anthony's Cottage, one of the earliest surviving buildings in Hemfield and a wonderful example of a traditional hall house. I tell you what, I would not want to be the chimney sweep here. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> and this is Potwell's, the former home of notable botanist William Burrow. It even has a blue plaque to commemorate him. I've worked with Hemfield Museum now for 14 years, I think, or 15 coming up this year. And I lead a few of the museum projects, and I've also been involved with the Henfield Museum Friends Group, which was founded in 2014, so I've served as chairman and vice chairman of the Friends Group as well. Uh, Henfield Museum really got its start in the 1930s when Lucy Bishop and her, her auntie uh, Alice Standen, who was one of the first uh, female parish councillors, or the first female parish councillor for Henfield, started a private collection. And as in many cases, private collection gradually blossomed over the years until in the 1970s, uh, the museum itself was, was founded in its current position. And there's been a lot of change since then, of course, um, but it really is a jewel of, of Henfield and we're very lucky to have it. So uh, if you do come to Henfield, then please do drop by the museum. Um, we've got parking right, right next door. Uh, if you've got a, a parking pass, you can park there for free, but uh, the museum is, is free and we always welcome donations but do, do drop fast. Um, it's quite a small one-room museum but it is packed full of things. Um, we've got a rolling, a rolling series of exhibitions across the year. Thanks Robert, you know your stuff. This is St Peter's Church. I love the flint exterior and I hear that inside it has super underfloor heating. Perfect for those chilly days. What is that building, Luna? I'm glad that you asked, Annalise. It's known as a cat house, and back in the 18th century, the owner, Bob Ward, decorated the house in memory of his pet canary, which had allegedly been killed by Canon Nathaniel Woodard's cat. The story goes that every time Nathaniel made his way from his own house, the large white house at the end of the lane, up to the church, Bob would ring a string of bells to remind him of his cat's crime. There is a beautiful painting of the house and gardens in Henfield Museum showing all of Bob's outdoor sculptures. Luna. 
Did you know that Henfield had one of the oldest cricket clubs in the country? Wow, that's impressive. I know. Do you think now that's joined? <laughs> I don't think we're good enough for that. What? We make the perfect afternoon tea. <laughs> okay, I'll go grab my bat. And I'll go and butter my tins. Okay. <laughs> Before you head off and butter your tins, Luna, let's sit on this lovely bench and have a cup as we admire the views over dropping homes. Across from here used to be the market gardens, Henfield being famous for grown violets, ships around the world and the emblem of the suffrage movement. Tea break over, let's get out onto the Downs Link. This bridleway is 37 miles long, running from Guildford all the way down to Shoreham by Sea. And nice to have some well-placed benches to admire the views across the meadows and the River Ada. It's hard to believe that there used to be steam trains running down here. But now a great place to walk, cycle or horse ride, enjoying the fresh air and the benefits of being out in nature. Don't worry if you get thirsty or a bit peckish, the cabin is on the Downs Link, so a handy refreshment spot. Just up the road in Smalldoll is Woods Mill, a nature reserve managed by the Sussex Wildlife Trust. They have events on throughout the year, but you're welcome to visit the site any day and explore on your own. a great way to end our visit. Thanks Henfield, we'll be back soon. As with all of the Visit Series episodes, there is an accompanying postcard craft activity you can download to create at home. The set of six postcards depict some of the things we saw on our visits to the villages and towns across Horsham District. Perfect to send to friends or to keep as a memento after your visit. And don't forget to pick up your passport too, available to download or collect from shops in each area. The Visit Horsham District series was commissioned by Horsham District Council and created by Silvertip Films and Whistle Stop Arts in collaboration with Horsham TV. For more information and links to the places that we visited in the series, go to whistlestoparts.org, where you'll also find podcasts of our walks in the areas and craft resources. <laughs>